Wait, don't drop those dirty bike shoes into a bucket of water and scrub. When you remove them to dry, the leather may crack. Instead, make those shoes protected and more water resistant such that if you get caught in the rain, they'll dry out without cracking and protect any leather or vinyl. To do this, we consulted the experts in the field, and these are the leather boot manufacturers, and we'll show you what they suggest. And we'll also link at the end of the video if your shoes, especially mountain shoes or light color shoes, get extremely muddy. There are several other techniques. We're going to start by using saddle soap, which we've used on saddles and equine tack forever. First, we'll take a sponge. We'll dip it in water, rinse out the excess, and go ahead and wipe the shoe free of any dust or dirt. Do the same for the other. Open up the saddle soap. Again, rinse any excess dirt and grime off. Make the saddle soap into a nice paste, a little bit of water, and apply it to our shoes. Use a circular motion. Then, using a clean cloth, I like a microfiber cloth myself. Go ahead and wipe the shoe down. Also use a soft brush or even a toothbrush to go ahead and clean around the cleats and free them of any dirt. Next, to make your leather or vinyl more weatherproof and help preserve it, use some mink oil or for those of you who, such as I, that love those little creatures, use some Obanoff's heavy duty LP which does the same job. Apply with your finger to the leather or vinyl, rubbing it in, and do the whole shoe. And then let it sit for about an hour. And then go ahead after an hour and wipe off the excess. I prefer a microfiber cloth that leaves no residue but whatever you happen to have on hand. For a comparison, we treated the shoe on your right with saddle soap and mink oil and this is what the shoe looked like untreated on your left side. Notice all the built-in dirt and grime and how clean and shiny the one on your right after treatment. Keep those bike shoes protected and looking brand new. After all, they did cost a pretty sum. If you have anything to suggest or other ways of cleaning, please comment below. Please subscribe to keep up with our current videos. This is Tony of Tony 10 Speed Safe Cycling.